What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get the companion block and play dead achievements in the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, so for these achievements you're going to want to boot up the mission embedded and for the companion block achievement we're going to use only one cinder block and bring it to the end of the mission. So f at pretty early on in the mission uh, you're going to follow Farah down this uh, long corridor or whatever and you're going to come to a point where at the end of it you guys have to split and she's going to go one way you're going to have to go over here and pick up one of these cinder blocks and blend in as one of the male citizens that have to uh well, i don't know what the hell they're taking these things for i guess we're just like piling them up somewhere else but uh pretty much you just got to blend in um and this achievement's pretty easy uh it's not near as complicated as i was thinking it was going to be but uh it is a fun one um, just follow Farah's instructions and uh, it's pretty straightforward. I try and skip over the parts where you know it's just long walking periods um, just to kind of save time. But uh, something to note is you can absolutely drop the, bl uh, the block. You do not have to carry it through the whole thing. As a matter of fact, right here we have to like salvage a part off of this busted ass truck and make it a suppressor for our gun. And uh, whenever you do these things, you got to make sure you pick up the same cinder block that uh, that you originally picked up. Because uh, that's the key to this achievement. Uh, so once you off these dudes, Farrah is going to clean up the rest. Um, make sure you go back and pick up that block and continue following her. Hold up. And then we're going to come up to this room and again, we're going to drop the cinder block shoot these dudes and then we're gonna remember to pick that back up uh, and carry on with the mission Clear. and then you're gonna follow Farah for a little bit again and uh, you'll come to this point where there's a ladder and uh, you know I'd be impressed if someone could climb this ladder with the cinder block um, but it, just drop it and we'll come back to it in a second uh, because we're going to be in this area for a little bit. So once you get a chance to come back down here, follow this route and it'll take you up some stairs that, you know, take you right back up to Farah. Uh, and we're going to leave the cinder block up here on the top because it's just easier on yourself. I made the mistake of lugging this thing around uh, and, and having to drop it a, a bunch of times, taking out a bunch of guards. Uh, it'll just make your life a lot easier if you uh, leave it up top with Farah and then come back for it once you sabotage the helicopters. Uh, so once you finish sabotaging helicopters, come back up here. Uh, Farah's going to ask you to detonate the bombs and uh, make sure you pick that cinder block back up. And then we're going to go outside. Pandemonium's, you know, taking place and we're going to have to sneak past some guards. So we're going to chill up here for a second. Let them do their thing, walk on by, whatever it is they're doing. And then eventually we're going to jump on down here. And this is a real important moment. Um, this is a time where you and the cinder block really get to know each other. This is a bonding experience. Um, because you'll never get to do anything like this with the real cinder block. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I you know, had a handful of experiences with them, but, you know, never once have I, <laughs> what the fuck am I even going on about? Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so you're just going to, once you crawl through the, th underneath the truck, just follow Farah. She's going to lead you around. Um, she's going to throw her backpack and then she's going to fucking take off like Usain Bolt and uh, just follow her and uh, she'll take you to where you need to go. And and uh, this is this is the time to really you know get to know your block you know ask it its name find out its favorite food maybe take it out on a nice date later um, you're gonna eventually jump out this window with Farah and this area is um, this is a notable area because this is where you're also gonna get the other achievement uh, for killing all the enemies the uh, in the field of dead bodies so this is the field of dead bodies. You're going to have to lay down. I got too attached to my brick, and uh, they they noticed me holding it, I guess. I guess that's, you don't, you don't want to hold your brick. Um, there's a bunch of dead bodies, and, you know, they see a dead body cuddling a brick. It's That's a little strange, if you ask me. I, I, don't, I don't know how I would react, but, I, you know. Uh, so you just want to make sure you throw the brick, 
um, <laughs> leave it on the ground, let the enemies pass, and uh, whenever they do pass, remember to pick that back up. And again, this is another real intimate moment with the brick. You guys are really bonding here. This is an experience I've never shared with an actual person, much less a goddamn inanimate object. Like, this brick is getting to experience some shit I'll never get to experience. Uh, it's, it's, it's one to remember for sure. Uh, <laughs> I can't do this any longer. I can't pretend like I love this brick anymore. It's, it's a goddamn brick. Um, anyways, uh, one, once, once, <laughs> I can't even not laugh. Don't worry, I hate myself too. Anyways, the rest of the mission is pretty straightforward. Um, you're just gonna follow Farah. Uh, once you, once really, once you get past those guards, it's you're pretty much on the home stretch. And you're gonna find out what's his nuts is dead. And uh, to make sure you get this achievement, make sure you are holding on to the brick whenever you uh, click on this ladder. You're gonna drop the brick, but uh, as long as you're holding on to it when you, you know, start that that uh, the climb down the ladder, uh, your achievement will pop. It takes a little bit for it to pop, but I but I assure you, um, it's gonna go to like a black screen. I think the mission has to finish in order for you to unlock the achievement. But uh, there it is, 40 gamer score, companion brick. That is absolutely one of the more fun achievements I've had to do. I saw that and I was like, well, I could probably make a guide on that. And uh, and uh, so for the play dead achievement, uh, I made sure to grab a submachine gun earlier in the mission. Specifically for this part, that way I'd have a weapon that's not just a pistol to kill all these bad guys. Uh, and even still, I almost botched it. Um, and I'd be mad impressed if uh, somebody could <laughs> kill all the enemies with their block. Because that's the ultimate bonding experience. If you, if you can get both of these achievements in the same go, uh, I'd be mad impressed. I'd, I'd want to see that. But uh, anyways... Uh, that that is uh, how you unlock both of those achievements uh, I'm gonna be posting more achievement guides for the modern warfare game and uh, if that's you know if that's your sort of thing uh, make sure to stay tuned and uh, stick around but uh, thanks for watching